We are looking at cognitive psychology. There'll be quite a few of these short mini-lectures. Uh, this is, if you haven't read or been familiar with cognitive psychology, this may be a little complex the first time around, but hang on, be patient. You'll see there's a reason also by looking and understanding cognitive psychology why I do a lot of the things I do in class and with these presentations. So first of all, an overview. Cognitive psychology says that learning is the process of acquiring and reorganizing cognitive thinking structures within our heads. Human beings, that would be you and I, hopefully, use these cognitive structures, and they're kind of like webs, and that's a metaphor, uh, to process and store information. So new knowledge that comes in is stored kind of like a web. And we use this as a metaphor to help us understand how new information is stored. And there's a picture of the web. Learning is active, meaning that you can't passively receive that human beings have to process, have to be actively engaged and take in information and decide which little bin it goes into in our heads. So learning is not simply absorbed. You can't learn without some engagement by the learner. You have to be actively involved on the cognitive level somehow. And we are using this computer metaphor. And you understand that metaphors and analogies are ways to hold big ideas and hold specific information. And here is one such. We are using the computer metaphor. And the keyboard on this metaphor is the sensory register, is where information comes into our senses, just like in the keyboard it comes in through that. That is the information we put in, all right? So we receive. The desktop or working memory is very similar to like our short-term memory or our working memory. Here is where, the pro where we process information. That would be the desktop working memory. The hard drive is our long-term memory. It's where all the information is stored, just like on the computer hard drive. To save to the disk is to encode. To save to the long-term memory is to encode, is to save. We encode in our long-term memory is when we save and store information here. Pulling up a file on the computer, that's the same as retrieval. And cognitive psychologists, that's what we call, that's how we refer to recalling or bringing up information. So to a cognitive psychology, encoding is story, and pulling up or remember is retrieval. And a computer has a program that is strategies for making the computer work in a certain way. That is a thinking skill or a thinking process in cognitive psychology. All right, just a brief overview. There is more to come.